body counts. Everyone has a body count. Some have high, some have low. And if you're Jeffrey Dahmer, you have will numbers. If you don't know what body counts are, it's basically the amount of people that you've had private relations with. AKA you fuck. All in all, body count is kind of important. But the thing with body counts is, is that having a good body count is kind of tricky. Because if it's too high, you're considered a hoe. But if it's too low, you're considered a bitch. But all in all, no one really knows the perfect body count until today. So today, we are going to be finding the perfect body count. Of course, we got the tier list. We're going to be ranking all feasible body counts that you can get. Yes, this is feasible. I know some people. And I'll be ranking all of them to find the best body count and the range of which is in. So not wasting time. The reveal going to be at the end. So let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> You know, having zero bodies is not that bad. Depending on who you are, it takes a lot of control to have zero bodies. Either that, or you just get no bitches. Plain and simple, that's just how it is. If you're a girl and you have zero bodies, you're either extremely unattractive, or you just don't want to. Because if you really wanted to, there's always going to be a guy. Niggas will do anything, bro. They, they, they will fuck anything. But to all the virgins out there, stay strong, bro. If you're a virgin by choice, keep on going. If you're not... Watch some red pill content, real talk. Like, cause you you need to change something about your life. I'm gonna give it medium. In some cases, this is top tier. In other cases, goddamn. <laughs> Moving on. Ah, the legendary one body count. Once you get that first body, bro, your whole life changes, bro. Your perception, your idea, how the world looks, everything just changes for you. It's like you're baptized in the coochie, and like after you come out, you know, you're re born again it's just a sensational feeling everybody with bodies watching this video knows exactly what i'm talking about usually your first body comes from a relationship so that factor kind of makes it even more special or you're young and you just started either way top tier feeling but i'll tell you one thing you will never forget that first body bro personally i think i rate this top tier <laughs> All right, this is the one where you like, you really start to get into your bag a little bit, bro. You're not a hoe yet, but you're experienced. This is where most people fall in. Now, if you have five through 10, you're most likely in high school. You haven't really reached that college phase where you go and wild out and you get about like 20 plus bodies in like one year. But if you're not in high school, you've probably just been in a lot of relationships. Either way, this is a pretty good body count. So I'll give this next to top tier. <laughs> All right, from here on out, this is where we start getting into the whole territories, all right? Let's go. I know this is a very broad range, but there's a reason for this. Once you get out of high school and you get to college or the real world, if you don't like college, this is where you really start getting active. Yeah, you had the car in high school and you were probably a backseat warrior, but now you can finally upgrade to beds, dorm rooms, apartments, no matter which way you get it, you're going to get it. But this is where your body count gets very diverse. Maybe a couple dimes, probably a few nickels. And if you have a drinking problem, a bunch of pennies. Depending on who you are, this could be a great time in your life. Or this could be one of the most regretful time periods of your life. Either way, it's a great experience in the moment. Top tier. <laughs> All right, now we're starting to get into the danger zone. This is what I call street level one. 30 to 50 might not seem like a lot, but like once you start comparing it to like other things, it's definitely gonna open your eyes a little bit more. For example, an NFL football team can only allow 53 men on the roster. My point being, she is for the streets. A whole football team running a train on your bitch is definitely gonna bother you. So if your girl has 50 bodies, that should also bother you. Same thing for guys, there ain't no double standards over here. Ladies, if your man has led a one man mission on five cheerleading squads, he is for the streets too. 50 bodies is a lot, don't forget that. Once you get to 30, your whole aspect on bodies just change you'll stop looking at it as romantic and more like a transactional meeting some may say exercise but i don't think it's that far all in all if you have 30 to 50 bodies depending on your age i feel like you can officially be considered a hoe this one i'm gonna give it mid-tier moving on All right, 50 plus is where it starts getting real. This is starting to get to porn star level, bro. At this point, your standards have lowered a lot. You'll really just fuck anything. Unless you're a super top tier guy and you're just like that. If you're a super top tier girl, you, you're not having filled for 50 bodies. Let's be real. That's crazy. This tier is for the real hoes. You know, the hoes you hear about getting passed around in the city, bro. You know exactly the ones I'm talking about. I'll put this in low tier. Not yet bottom, but you're getting there. Although, if you're a guy, this may balance out to mid tier. Double standard do kind of play a part in this one i'm not gonna lie 
Alright, in my opinion, this is the last normal level. Beyond this level, the average person will not hit. These levels are only reserved for the true elitist of hoes. Without further ado, let's get started. Now this one's pretty broad. If you're in this tier, you're just a certified hoe. Stamped, sent, published, everything. You're just a hoe. You're, you're, you're a whore, actually. You're a whore at this point. Getting over 100 bodies in one lifetime is just insane, bro. I don't care who you are or what gender you are. That's just insane. At this point, you're probably just cracking anything. If they're nice, have a good smile, and smell decent, you're probably gonna let them hit. This is the level where most stars and other stars of the night or at this one i gotta give it the first bottom tier bro like this is bad if you reach this level you just gotta do it for sport bro this is this is just what you do this has to be your occupation bro how does it even get this bad like th this is crazy at this point settling down is probably far past your radar bro like this is your life now like you're the hoe and if you're a guy you probably already have multiple children probably putting up young boy in the can of numbers this one gotta go to bottom tier bro like th this is crazy and for the last tier oh god Out of all tiers, this gotta be the worst. At this point, uh, I just gotta congratulate you. Getting over a thousand bodies, it's just impressive at this point. Like, how, like honestly, I'm I, I'm impressed. The fact that you found a thousand people who wanted to fuck you, it's crazy. More importantly, I don't know how you kept count. That's a small town in Uruguay or whatever, bro. Like, that's crazy. If you're at this number, you definitely have daddy issues. If you're a guy, you definitely have mommy issues. If you're a guy and you're at this point, you, you definitely have something. There's no way you don't. And honestly, you're just as much of a hoe as if a female had this number. It's no difference at this point. Y'all both just certified hoes. Honestly, Honestly, once you get to this point, there's no point in return. You're, you're not seeing the pearly gates. You're too far gone. All in all, this is a pretty crazy body count. You must feel like a god at this point or exactly the opposite. All in all, I got to give this a tier of its own. Spectacular. This is a very rare and amazing feat. Congratulations. You'll never find love. Here's your award like shit. <laughs> Alright, so since all of that's out the way, we finna get to the reveal. So in my opinion, the best body count range is none other than 25 to 35. And the reason why I say this is the best body count range is because it's like on the verge of being a hoe, but not quite a hoe. I feel like once you get past that 35, 40 range, that's when people start really considering you a hoe. For a guy, this is definitely the best body count. I mean, you could say that you pull hoes, but you're not a hoe. Plus, I feel like this isn't too low. Like you're for sure active, but like you're not too active. Now, onto what everybody's really been waiting for. Okay. I've done a lot of thinking on this. I've calculated the numbers, I've run tests, I've done interviews, I've done all of what you really need to do. And from my knowledge, I finally got my answer. So ladies and gentlemen, the overall perfect body count is none other than 26. Now, if I'm being honest, the only reason why I chose 26 is because Actually, I don't know why I chose 26. It just kind of came off the dome if I'm being real with you. But it's also because if someone told me they had 26 bodies, I wouldn't think they're a hoe. Like, I wouldn't think they're a hoe, but I would know they get bitches. Like, I, I wouldn't definitely know they get bitches, bro. It just seems like an overall good body count. Like, it just kind of comes off the tongue nice. Like, it's just a good body count. If I'm being honest, for a female, though, the best body count would probably be, like, 15 to 16. I'm not gonna lie. Like, double standards definitely does come into play with this one. I'm not gonna lie. But, yeah, 26 and 15, in my opinion, are the best body counts for boys and girls. But that's just my opinion from my research, so who knows so yeah all in all that's the video thank you for watching follow the socials up to the twitch so i'm gonna start streaming in like maybe a couple weeks i don't know and join up to the discord because that's very important i need video ideas y'all need to help me out so go ahead and tell me y'all video ideas and i'll shout you out but besides that uh that's it so love all y'all thank you and goodbye